Welcome back to another episode on the channel, guys. You know, it's your boy is back at it again with another video on the channel. So, before I get into the video as well, thank everybody for the support. Thank you for everything. Wouldn't be here without you guys. So, I'm big enough always. Respect our manners for everything. I mean, no, the movement has been very helpful to many people. So, I will continue and push the movement, see me. But, yeah. And thanks for the likes and the comments and so on. So, I'm um, looking to do more things on the channel as well, but slowly getting there. But let's get into the video. So if you might, guys might know, I did drop a video in regards to female, what happened to females in training. And because it's a video where it off for a long time and them thing, eh? but but just decided to just drop it. And you know, many people that I look forward to that video. Though. But the thing is, what I want to talk about in this video is what happens to females when them actually graduate and them actually go into the work. So one. And because more want to understand, say, we only are getting the set, you know, because it's not, a easy, not even say easy work, but the woman them as a whole, you know, go get a whole heap of pressure. And I mean pressure, when you get pressure from people, we are probably higher in the ranks, ranks now, you know, if we do certain things out on a comfort zone, meaning like certain sexual activities, that I mean. Meaning that somebody will approach and tell us, you know, you look like a nice young lady and, you know, I can't do things for you unless I do this or unless I do that. Trust me, it is in the work up there. So females, if you know you're going into it, as I say, just keep yourself to yourself and just do the right thing. Don't really follow nobody, don't follow your friend name where you probably meet in a training too. You see them do it and, and all and then you're probably going to say, oh, I want to try it and see you, don't do that. Because as much as you see it, most of you know, say, that's why they have a strict policy in regards to soldiers dating soldiers and soldiers are mingled with soldiers because certain things happen in the past and they might try to prevent um, future incidents as well because at one point there was a case where um, a brigadier lose film job because he was sexually harassing a female soldier and the female soldier end up reporter and them thing there. so he may end up losing work but that is the thing when I try to say in the work when you go get a whole heap of that when you go have people who hire in the ranks I try when I touch you inappropriately do certain things say certain things to you make certain advances to you and them thing there and we know that some of them feel comfortable with it, but some will actually go forward with it because they know say, at the perks, when they do certain things with certain people, they always have to look out for you and make sure you're all right and make sure you go up the ranks and them things. That is not a way to do it because as much as I see it, the man them in it actually fight down the females them in the army because as I say in the prior video, them feel say women are not supposed to in the JD for women are supposed to in the army because them know you know, stagnant like that or rough like that and tough like that, you get me? So, I want to understand that. Because you do have women in there, females in the army who are actually tough and rugged, you know. I mean, tough and rugged, you know. If you look at them too hard, you know, you, you, you get afraid. You see, you have women like them in it. And them the type of women there, sometimes you see, we got a road. But what I want to say is that when you actually, because you know, Genesee program and things, when you actually do online, and sorry, on the job training on the guard road, please, me advise you. As women don't act, like a lazy bum because this is a stigma see me when them go in there and them get a chance to go road them act like them act them act like them don't know the type of work or them don't know what they might do you know because i get to one point because this is the reason why soldiers don't really like go road with females in a one sense because them just act like just like if some of them just act like them they want them want to like pet them up and them thing then treat them like them fragile we're, we're out there to work we're out there to work, so we are trying to say if 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 you get in issues, gunfight, you're not gonna shoot off a people and we have got to defend you and you have a gun to come on man. But you need to understand certain things and look for the bigger picture because at one point I was there, because I mean I like working female, because female them some of them did lazy bad. Let me say lazy but lazy bad. Them come around them just sit down, them up on their phone, then go one side then chat and then a piece down and sit down. Brother, what are we? You, you join the JDF and you join JDF for your purpose. Why you want to work short on it? Because to your female, you think say, you're not supposed to do certain type of work or you're not supposed to do certain type of things because of it. But it's, it's, it's a team effort, you know? Yeah, we have to work together. You get me? Because me, if, if, if things get out of hand, nothing say me, I got to take out myself, I can defend you. Me, I defend myself, you know? Me, I protect my life. Me, I get up and protect your life and you have the, the necessity to protect your life and you don't want to protect your life. You want somebody else to protect you. No, you know, go so. At one point, I want girl, Go up on the road, and then it's like the squad leader did it. And look on the girl, I'm so weird. I mean, where did I say girl in a van or a vest? 
Me I say wait. Then let me say wait. Where your vest there? And then the squad, squad leader catch and I say wait. You can't do that. You can't take off your vest. Where your vest there? You see, them the type of thing where you have to understand. Say, even though you are a female, you have a duty to uphold as a female. That's why I'm saying in the previous video. Show them say you have as much right to be there as a female as much as how male is supposed to be there. You can't grow on thing and expect to get special treatment because you're a woman and you go to training. You have, and you have you, training have to toughen up as female, everybody has everybody. You see, you can't just go in there and expect say, yo, you're going to get, unless you're going to look for turn on JDF, you made. You see me? And I know no found in anger want that I use no body as some form of tool and them things if you get on want and all that. Some I know some most of my anger soup them type of everyday still. But I'm just as soon as say, as females, when you're joining the JDF, you have to be tough, you have to be rugged, you have to be serious. Because me I tell you, the man them fight out the woman them up there. Fight out the woman them cause every day a man them complain, cause no man like when a female cup on their squad. No man. No man no like it because the female them just lack a basic call. You see me? They're not busy about nothing. Nothing they're not busy about when they go around. Nothing. The only thing they're busy about is to lay on their phone and call with them for call and text with them for text. You see me? They're not busy and they complain and they're tired and very, very tired and this and everybody want to come and work and look at putting long extension here and uh, want to put on lashes and. They say, wait, the only thing could come. Ah, oh, I'm going to join you. I tell people this every day, the life you used to live on the road. Eh? And then same life you go come, come live in the JDF and people don't understand that is it. They want to come and come do what they feel like. Oh, you can't do this. You feel restricted. You feel restricted for a reason because you give somebody an inch, them take a mile, them do what they feel like. In a work like environment like this, it is a life and death situation. One mistake can make you lose your life as well as the people around you. So you have to look upon it and say, as a female overall, and say, this is what I want. And you know, say, going into this type of job era, I have to adjust myself to the type of living and requirements of a JDF female soldier. You get me? Because some people still in there will say, yo, woman is supposed, woman is supposed in the JDF because probably they don't see them purpose. Because you know, probably most of the majority of women may actually see up there, they probably work in an office, work over the medical center, do some farmer office work to tell you the truth. A one and a few women actually got road. And majority of female them actually join in JDF. That is most of them career part because go in the office and do paper work. Most of them no one got no road. Because them no one wear a 30 pound vest and all them and, and walk around the big M16 and them things. But you have females that actually adapt them want to do. Them no one in a no office sit down. I write up no do no paper work and them want in the streets, them want out in the field. You see me? So you have to understand that a female when go into the JDF, you have to Set your part, walk your part. You can walk it as a normal person or you can walk it as a JDF, you know what I mean? It's up to you what you want to do. But as I say, you go get pressure, you go get sexual advancements and them things there. Don't be afraid to report nobody, even if them check me and tell you, say, oh, if I do this, this I go up and all that. No fear to report none of them as a female, you see me? Because a piece of sadness I take time I go on up a JDF. JDF start a water down and them things there. And people don't see that, but certain things that come to truth, Start to light and we want to understand that as female when you're going in, when you have as much purpose to go in it as possible. Not to just go in and look pretty and for hype and look at it as some form of um, entertainment, but look at it as some form of achievement in your life going forward. Something that can actually assist and something that can actually motivate other people. Because for me, that's what I'm trying to do. I try to motivate people for going out to do the right thing. Not for going out to do foolish. And then turn around and cause the JDF, say JDF for this and JDF for that. When are you, the organization is already there already. Are you just no fitting with the organization? So you can't cause the organization if you're not fitting in the organization. And most people have to understand that. You have to ask yourself the question every time. Is the JDF a place for you? Yes, I know. Have to ask yourself questions like that. But anyways, just to top it off as well. You know, many more videos to come. And as I said, I want to start the series, the training series in a... Uh, this month we make you know, get an oversight of everything and, and, and all. But it is what it is. So hope you guys learn something from this video. I hope the females understand the requirements or the things that are expected from you when you join. Please don't go in there and become a JDF you made. I beg you. But so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, share the video to someone that you might think is informative too. You know it's your boy Ace, unknown Ace. Out! <laughs>